Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to our Urban Homestead friends, and we are kicking off October the right way, y'all. We're doing Croctober and the Happy Harvest Fall collaboration that Chris from City Girl Homestead and I are doing. So this is a two for one, baby. Kicking it off with a bang. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing apple pie jam. I'm gonna be doing it in my crock pot. And you know, there is a lot of different recipes out there. I just could not um, really find one exactly the way that I wanted to do it. So I'm totally winging this, flying by the seat of my pants like I normally do. And I'm sure it's gonna turn out wonderful. So let's get going. All right, I've got some apples here that I've already cored, peeled, chopped. Throw them puppies in. I'm gonna add half a cup of granulated sugar. Nothing like the smell of fresh apples, you guys. It is apple harvest time here in Michigan. And yes, yum. I don't know, what was that? A cup and a half of brown sugar. I'm gonna throw some clear gel in here because I do want to can this once it's done. Just kind of get those apples coated with the sugar in the clear gel. stopped at the local farm that I always go to and I picked up some of their apple cider. Many of you always ask what local farm do I go to and it is Houston's Farm. It is a wonderful wonderful family. Um, this is ginger that I'm just sprinkling on in there. They are a wonderful family. All of their produce and products are amazing and uh, I just love the relationship that I've built with them over the years. That's some nutmeg. <laughs> I always have to smell because my cocoa powder looks like this and I don't have ever have this labeled. So, um, and then some cinnamon. And of course, we have to taste one of the apples to make sure that the seasonings are correct. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing says fall in Michigan like apples and apple cider. All right, so then I'm gonna pour, this is four cups. I don't know if I'm going to use all four. Yes, we are. Four cups of that apple cider. Oh, it smells heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. All right, I'm going to turn this on low. Let this puppy cook for about four hours. I'm going to check it after two. And uh, we will be back. Or, well, I will be back. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this and taste it. 
It is wonderful. I did take um, my potato masher and I just mashed it up a little bit because this is apple pie jam, not apple pie filling. And oh, you have to get a clean spoon if you're gonna have another taste. I have to have a proper taste. <laughs> you, you just had a big spoonful of it. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna try to get five pints out of this. Uh, you're not. <laughs> I've got my jars heating up. Oh my god. Um, like I said, I did take my masher and mash it up, but I mean, come on, you guys. That, that is, is seriously delicious. That is, and it is thick, baby. This is gonna be wonderful on um, toast. An oatmeal. Ooh, I know what else. April. No. All right, guys. Uh, my jars are warming up, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys. Let's get these jars filled. So thick and delicious. <laughs> April. I'm gonna fill this to the one inch headspace. These jars are hot. Let me move this so maybe you guys can see what's going on here. Want to make sure that you debubble. and wipe your rim really well. Fingertip tight, these are gonna water bath for 20 minutes, that is hot. <laughs> And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right, guys, here they are fresh out of the canner. I got five pints and there was still some left for April to be able to have a little bowl. <laughs> so <laughs> there they are. As always, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to see what I'm up to. I appreciate all of you. Please give this video a like. Tell your friends to come on over to the channel or share any of my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.